Hi, I'm Craig Moffat with Data Video. This is a video, a tutorial video, about how to use KMU100 with the RMC185. We'll talk about all the controls that, that uh, you can use with the RMC185 with the KMU100. Now, even though there is a different way, you can also control KMU100 with the free software that comes with the unit, be able to load onto your uh, PC, and be able to do all the same functionalities. But uh, that'll, that'll be a different video. This one is gonna show just the RMC185. So let's get started. First, let's talk about how to connect the RMC-185 with the KMU-100. The RMC-185 does come with a Ethernet cable that, that on one end, and then on the other end it has a uh, RS-2422 connection that connects right on the back of your KMU-100. So uh, now that I have that connected, I have complete control over my ins and outs of the KMU-100. For example, I'm going to go over to my RMC-185, and I'm going to you'll see there's a little display on the a window display and I'm going to push the menu button down and I can twist turn it and I'm going to turn it to input A and if I push that down again it'll say that I have an HDMI input in this case I do I have a camera or a media player that's playing 4k video as an HDMI source I can do that also with source B that could be a different source that could be an SDI source if I push this down uh, push it down and I can see a 4 SDI, uh, 1 SDI, or HDMI. You can also change your output. If I select by the menu and I turn that to my output format and then I select that and then you can see where I can have different resolutions 1080i, 59, 60, uh, 25, 29, 30, all the different types of resolutions 720p. All these are available to you and you can select those outputs uh, from the KMU100, and that would obviously go into your switcher. Next, I'd like to show you how you can control your camera angles using the RMC185. Now, if you look at the RMC185, you'll see that I have the ability to control up to two cameras, multi-viewer one and multi-viewer two. And you'll see input A and input B. These are uh, the controls you'll have for two cameras. Now, I only have one source going into the KMU100, for this demonstration, but keep in mind that you can have two. So first of all, what you'll do is uh, you're looking at a screen which shows the size of the 4K image that I'm going to select from. And number one is the red box you'll see, and I'm gonna select number one here on my input A, and I can now move that back and forth with my joystick, and I twist the joystick, I can zoom in and out. Now this is gonna be my wide shot, so I'm gonna kinda leave it out wide. Next, I'm going to go to 2, and then I'm going to move that box from left to right. You can see, maybe I'll zoom in on the, uh, on the bass player. Let's go right to the bass guy here. And you'll notice also, uh, you may not be able to see it clearly on this screen. If you can, on a bigger monitor, of course, but you can see that the resolution, as I zoom in and out, will tell me if I'm still in spec of, with uh, HD spec. So if I, I'm, I don't want to pass the 720p, spec so I want to keep it at that resolution and it'll help me guide me to not go too far in and then I'm going to go to number three and I'm going to move it around maybe I'll center that right into the drummer and uh, Richie Sambora I think is the guitarist he's playing and then I'm going to go to number four and I'm going to move that shot over maybe get these two people right here the guitarist and the keyboardist and get that shot I have four shots now using one camera. So uh, I can use, now I can actually see that in a quad. If I go over to my multi-viewer one, I select my quad button, and you'll see that each shot is now showing it in a quarter screen of my monitor. And now I can go in and I can tweak that a little bit even, even more, like maybe the uh, number two shot with the, maybe I want to get those two guys right there. Now if, the, if they happen to be me moving, I actually can move along with the, the uh, like he is right now, he's moving back into the center of the stage, I can kind of move along with him and get that shot with him if I'd like. Or I can leave that shot here and I can, in my switcher, since all these are live inputs to my switcher, I can now switch to three. And uh, now he's back in the center. I still have my base shot at two. And uh, I can come back to three, I can cut back to four. If I'd like, I can go back to my wide shot, or there's a, an established shot there. And there you go, I have four separate camera angles 
on the stage with one camera. Next, I'd like to show you how to do a, a preset and create a motion path in your KMU100 using the RMC185. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select uh, my, on my multi viewer one, I'm going to select the little M button here, which means motion, and I'm going to select that. And uh, I have number two selected, so you can see that there's a dotted box and then there's a, another dotted box. One is going to be for my beginning point and one's going to be my end point. So first I'll select, set my, my uh, beginning point and let's zoom in a little bit and I just want to pan the stage. So I'm going to start there and then I'm going to push the number two button on my input A and that selects the other box and so now I can move that. I'm going to move that across stage, zoom in a little bit, maybe get the so I'm having maybe a wider shot as it's zooming and panning at the same time. Now I'm going to push, uh, set this on my input A below. There's a two with a little apostrophe above it, and I'm going to select that. And that sets, you can see now it's actually moving from point A to point B. And that's now a preset. And if you go back to my RMC-185 on the menu page, I have a speed setting, which I actually can speed that up just by moving the dial. There's five, six, seven, and it's going faster. Now that's a single pass. I can push again here. And I can change also this, not just the speed, but I can have that loop. So it's now looping over and over again. Now the idea is you can leave that angle going all the time during your production so that uh, anytime you want to switch, to panning that stage or that particular shot, you just have to switch to it on your switcher. And there you have it. The RMC-185 is a perfect tool for the KMU-100. You can use it in many different applications, such as house of worship, education, a band setting like this, and a live video production. Almost any production that you can think of that you want to use the KMU-100, the RMC-185 is definitely going to enhance your production. So if you have any more information that you'd like to learn about this, please visit our website at datavideo.com. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be informed with all our new videos on the KMU100 and many of our other new products for 2017. And thanks for watching.